For this simulation, hopefully you saw the wave reflect off of the PEC halfway through the grid. Also, hopefully you saw that the reflection, or the scattered wave, propagated right through the total field scatter field interface. So it reversed sign here, and hopefully it propagated right through here without any distortion, which is what we want, since the total field scatter field interface is purely numerical. It's not a physical interface. Here's a snapshot of the grid after 415 time steps. Notice this scattered wave over here. The scattered wave on the left side of this grid makes sense because it's, it's the reflection from the PEC. But why is this scattered field over here? Well, beyond the PEC plate, numerically, we still have an incident grid propagating in the incident grid. And this has an amplitude of 1. So it turns out that there is a non-physical numerical scattered wave of opposite um, sign propagating in this region that exactly cancels the incident wave. So it has an amplitude of minus 1. So I have not drawn this to scale, but this goes to minus 1 and this goes to positive 1. Then at this right total field scatter field interface, the, this numerical scattered wave propagates right through the interface, but this incident wave is subtracted out. So that's why over here we only see this scattered wave, non-physical scattered wave, propagate into this scattered field region.